Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Zoe, and this is Read My Resume. I graduated George Washington University with my liberal arts degree, but I majored in sociology and psychology. I had no idea that it was gonna lead me to a career in fashion. I think restaurant experience is one of the greatest jobs. You're getting your hands dirty, you're working crazy hours. I mean, I think it's like a boot camp on some level. I got the job at YM Magazine through my parents, friends, daughter-in-laws, sisters, friend. I got paid pretty much nothing working three days a week, but I wanted to go in five, so I would just kind of go on my off days because it was all I wanted to do. And I called my dad on the third day, and I said I would do this for free for the rest of my life. When I was senior fashion editor, I just said, you know what, I'm 25, now or never, close my eyes, hold my nose, jump, that's it. And I did. The music industry was taking over the world. Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Jessica Simpson and Britney Spears and Enrique Iglesias, and I was working with all of them. I would fly to Monaco for 24 hours. I would style album covers with 50 looks for five guys. I wanted to kind of make a change. And I moved to LA in 2003 and started working with these incredible women. The Jennifer Garner moment was a really pivotal moment for me. The Oscars, I believe, 2004, it was a one-shouldered coral Valentino and it was the most extraordinary dress. Jennifer put it on and she said, I've never felt more beautiful in my life. When the client looks at you and says, I've never felt more beautiful, then like, good, I'm done, that's it, you know, mission accomplished. I was asked to be the creative consultant to Halston. I don't think I'd ever been more excited about anything in my life, but I think at the end of the day, when you realize that you can't trust the people that you're working with every day, you have to leave immediately, if not sooner. Run, don't walk. Doing the Rachel Zoe Project for five years was an incredible experience and also a very tough experience in a lot of ways. It's very good for my business, but very hard for my personal life. For QEC, the part I loved the most was actually being on air and talking directly to the customer. And they were just some of the nicest ladies I ever spoke to in my life. It brought the biggest smile to my face. It was so much fun. Everyone had always asked me, when are you gonna be a designer? And I said, not yet not sure if I'm ever gonna do it. I knew the reality of what it takes to be a designer. So I really needed to wait until I was ready to kind of make the jump. It was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Thankfully, we had really good reviews and a really great launch and I just didn't believe anyone when they told me. When I got inducted to the CFDA, for me that was dream fulfilled. I mean, I literally had the biggest smile on my face. I look at it every single day and it makes me happy because that was a thing I never thought I could be a part of, ever. I am doing a talk show. I feel really comfortable and happy. It doesn't even really feel like work. I would say being a mother is my extra bit on my resume, if not the first thing at the top. I just love motherhood. I would say my message of my resume is, the sky's the limit for what you can do, but don't expect anyone to hand it to you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's really hard work, all of it. And um, go for it.